Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's a beautiful day here and I finally got an important update for you on the Jeep wheels and tires. The whole Jeep wheels and tires saga that has been going on now for like a month and a half. And uh, I called the company because of you guys uh, on Instagram. I made a post about two weeks ago and all you guys were spamming the page and they noticed and they said, hey, you know, we wanna take care of this, we wanna get on top of it, and we'll make sure you get your wheels and tires. Uh, so long story short, they do get on top of it, and they get everything together, they get them mounted and balanced even, which I didn't even really, I didn't want it, uh, but they, it was nice of them to do it, so they got everything ready to go. All I have to do is literally, they're gonna show up, and I put them on the Jeep. So about a week later, I'm calling to see, you know, I'm just kinda checking, not calling, but I'm looking online at the tracking, and I'm trying to see where they're at and they say delivered to Carlisle. Now Carlisle's about an hour south of where I am. And I call the four wheel parts store. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're at the store in Carlisle. They have a location there. I call, they don't have them. So I reach back out again via Instagram and they say, uh, yep, they're delivered to Carlisle. They're at New Penn Shipping because it's a freight delivery. They have to contract a, you know, like a, an 18 wheeler company to bring them here, which is no big deal. That happens all the time with lift kits, wheels and tires. A lot of times they have to contract a real shipping company not like like ups is a real shipping company but they don't do you know a giant delivery that weighs 600 pounds they're not going to do that um so you have to do a freight shipping company so i call new pen that's the company and i say hey you know i think you guys got some wheels and, and i'm sorry this is like a whole long story but i've been on the hunt for these things if you can't tell i'm, I'm making phone calls i'm checking online I'm, I'm hitting up everybody i'm trying to find them so i call up new pen and i say hey i think you guys might have a delivery for me and you know, take some back and forth on the phone and whatnot and you know, saying who I am and all my info, but they find them. So at the New Penn Warehouse in Carlisle, they have my wheels and tires. And then they say, well, you know, yeah, we can probably schedule about you know, Tuesday or Wednesday next week to get them. I say, oh no, we're not, doing, we're not doing Wednesday next week. I'm coming to get them. I don't even ask. I say, I'm pulling up. I'm coming to get them right now. And that's what brings me here. Uh, that's where we're going. Hopefully, this is finally going to be the end of the Jeep wheels and tires saga that has been going on. I can't wait. Jeep really does look like a soup sandwich sitting over there on the stock wheels and tires. It looks awful. Uh, so I'm very excited to finally get these on. Load up the big D. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. It's about my time for something to go right because everything has been going wrong thus far uh, with this whole thing. But my only uh, hiccup might be, are they gonna fit in the bed? because they're awfully big. This we'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and pack our ratchet strap just in case we have to uh, have the tailgate open, which I'm thinking we might have to destroy these all. See, the rack looks really cool, but this is where it does not come in handy when you need the whole bed. There goes a Bentley Continental. Don't see that every day. And a pretty nice power stroke behind it with pink accents. Wow. destination is on your right. The GPS says we're in the right place and uh, hopefully somewhere in that building they can find my Jeep wheels and tires that I've been waiting so long for. The destination is on your right. 475 Terminal Road. Arrived. And we are here. Now we're in with the big trucks. They're, they're in there. In there somewhere. Uh, I'm here to pick up, I called earlier, I'm here to pick up some uh, wheels and tires. Jeff, Jim!
They do look kind of nice, just for Steelys. Yeah. They're only, uh, they were like $64.99 each. I'm going to throw my Jeep back at home. Yeah. This one's going to go in the truck because we're out of room in the bed. All right. Just like that'll work. Slam it. All right, boys, all right. Let's go. Everything in the back, the wheels and tires fit pretty good. Oh my God, I can't wait. They look epic. Look at how cool they look. Awesome. I love like the gold coloring. That's gonna look awesome. <laughs> Everyone here is pretty nice. Yeah, let's do it. Finally. I know, fine. The old saying, if you want something done right, sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Look at that, look at that. That's sweet, love it. Sorry John, I had to uh, take a detour for the vlog and show uh, a military truck. A military truck? Yeah. Is it the five ton that got slow? No, it was not the five, it was, like a, it was like a little Jeep. We're back and we got our tires in the back painted black to match. I just can't do it. I can't help myself from making Old Town Road references. Uh, but imagine if I had taken uh, the time to wait for them to deliver these to me. And it is a holiday weekend, so I get why there would be a delay. Which, by the way, it is Memorial Day, so take a second to thank all the people who gave their lives for us in this country and gave their lives so that we could continue life as we know it and as we love it. Um, Memorial Day is a really important holiday that a lot of people don't really know what it's for and a lot of people you know th there is nothing wrong with thanking all veterans all the time dead or alive uh, but Mor memorial day is specifically for the people who gave their lives and that's the point of the holiday and i don't think a lot of people put as much thought into it as they should got my flags up lining the whole yard but anyway um so it is memorial day so i understand why the delay would be long but i would have to wait today the whole weekend saturday and sunday Monday, Tuesday, possibly Wednesday, maybe even not Wednesday, maybe Thursday. So I'd have to wait another seven days if I waited for that. But like I said, I had to go get them myself and uh, now they are here. They do look really cool. I love them and I can't wait to get them on the Jeep. So you can see what we went with here. We got some steelies, but a little more, uh, a little more like show quality, I guess you would say a little more fancy than just the normal ones like I had on the Blazer. They do have a nice, uh, beadlock look which I love I love the way they turned out I wasn't sure about it online but the like the finished product looks really cool yeah a little walk around here of what the Jeep currently looks like you can see not very impressive right there is a little front angle our tires don't stick out at all which is no good all right, gonna get our jack back out and our impact and our three-quarter socket and our extension cord Boy. Oh, it's gonna look oh, good. They are sick. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, yeah. Got it? Yep. Go ahead. Okay. The lug nuts are uh, in the garage. Oh, you got special lug nuts? I just stick Black. one like that so it doesn't fall. What do you think of the army green? You know, I mean, I figure you're gonna. Yeah, it's, it's I, I guess. army green. Got back. I was in Chicago all week. Yeah, how's Chicago? Yeah, Chicago is Chicago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not not great? I, you know, I, you know, it was okay, uh, but uh, they have good food in Chicago, I gotta admit that. Yeah, they got great, well, I hear they got great pizza. You're gonna have to start with all the work you do over here. Yeah, you know, I, hey, I just got done, like, for looking percentage. at the pool. I just got done looking at the pool, bumping the filter, uh -huh. you know, because I'm just back. I now have Rich doing my manual labor. Cheap. I was gonna say, oh, I can't put that in. Done <laughs> deal. All right. This tire looks awfully flat. 
caught them. Are you saying? Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Did they not put air in it for you? Um, you have to check it. They're mounted and balanced. They should have air. Yeah. What the heck is this? Wow. That doesn't look good at all. No. So it's either leaking out of the stem around the rim, which is possible, or they didn't put air in it. Yeah. Wow. If this tire is like, I have an air compressor, so I'll fill it up, but if there's something wrong with this, I'm gonna rage. For a dip in the pool. Yeah, go for a dip in the, your nice heated pool. <laughs> mine's only up to like 82. Is it? Yeah, mine's 86. I just checked. It was gone. It was gone up like a rocket, and then it got, got cold, cold last yeah, night. Yeah, and you get a rain, it'll drop another yeah. couple degrees too. So, thanks for the help. <laughs> I'm glad someone else is here to uh, witness my struggles. Uh, so yeah, we did find out it looks like we're short one wheel and tire, which I, I didn't even I didn't even think about which is unreal because I was in such a I was in such a rush to get them on I didn't even think about the one that we're short. The good news is the Jeep does look incredible. Holy crap guys Finally, finally the Jeep looks good. It looks like a real Jeep. Wow Wow, okay Starting to sink in a little bit <laughs> That looks so good. Look at the poke on the wheels definitely out a little bit i love that look though actually a little bit more than a little out it's uh quite a bit out from the fender we'll see if we get pulled over but that looks incredible love the beadlock the gold matches really well with the sahara badge don't know if that's going to be on there forever but i love that color with the deep red kind of maroon that looks epic that looks epic Nice little front clip view. We'll do the straight on here. You can see that there. Oh yeah, now, now it's a Jeep, boys. Now it is a Jeep. Look at that. Hold on, let me get you from the, uh, the better light angle here. Here we got the good lighting angle and holy crap, it does look incredible. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, very humbly, I might add, I, can re I really do know how to pick out wheels and tires. That looks insane. The only issue is that fifth wheel and tire that I definitely ordered off the track that one down. I don't know guys, I've just, I have never had problems like this with any other set of wheels and tires I have bought. And I've bought a lot of them over the years. And uh, I mean, look at what I'm still fighting with. The, the tires are flat, I'm missing one. It's like, holy crap, how hard is it? Maybe the Jeep is bad luck. Maybe I wasn't meant to have a Jeep, I don't know. But Either way, for now, that looks insane. This is exactly what I envisioned when I wanted to build a Jeep. And uh, I, if you notice, I am hiding the Blazer currently. Um, that's for a reason. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But like I said, this is exactly what I envisioned when I wanted to build a Jeep. And uh, you know, from stock to this, in really only about like two or three weeks, I think it is really, really cool. Great transformation. That's where the Jeep is at right now. And I just wanted to talk real quickly about uh, my wheel choice. So these are Pro Comp. Uh, 252 series bead locks and why I chose these is because I love the look of steelies as you guys know I chose them for the blazer and uh, I love that like really you know rugged look and kind of like the industrial look um, you know not like a fancy wheel I think for a Jeep or like an older truck I don't think a fancy wheel looks good like it does on a newer truck for example like my Duramax I think that um, you know, I think a, a more fancy like forged wheel looks kind of cool, but on a Jeep or an old truck I would choose a Steely every time, but I did want it to be a little bit more Unique and a little bit more spicy than just a regular Steely because I've already done that before on the channel And I think a newer Jeep deserves at least like a little bit of flash So that's why I went with the uh, the beadlock look and I love it I also got the center caps even though you don't have to but they're only seven bucks and these are still very affordable Very easy to replace if something happens and you know, just a really good all-around wheel And you guys know I love the pro comp mud tires, which is why I chose those but that is uh, my selection a Pro Comp 252 Beadlock Steely in gloss black, wrapped in a 35 by 12 and a half 15 
and they are 15s by the way, 15 by 10. So they're a little wider than the ones I have in my blazer. That's a 15 by eight. Uh, these are a 15 by 10, a little wider, a little more aggressive and uh, yeah, wrapped in the 35, 12 and a half, 15 pro comp mud terrain. And that is the setup. I'm in about, right about 1600 bucks for uh, the five wheels and the five tires. Not bad for a brand new set of wheels and really expensive mud tires. Really don't notice any difference like starting out from a stop or anything, which I was worried about that. I'll admit like putting heavy tires on it because, and heavy wheels because the Jeep is already like really slow and I didn't want to make it even more slow, but see right there, that's how I would normally take off anyway. And uh, it drives fine. So I'm, I'm glad that that didn't, I'm glad it didn't make the Jeep any slower. These guys happen to have a Tahoe and uh, they got a flat tire and they're trying to use that old spare. And I know from experience that those spares are like real bad. And he's trying to tighten the lug nuts with like a pair of vice grips. And I happen to have those spares sitting at my house. So I'm gonna go get one and uh, just give it to him because it looks like that spare tire, <laughs> those, spare, those spare tires get so rusty and the tire itself is crap, so I'll get him a good one. Little detour, but we got a tire and a tire iron for him. Uh, so that should, that should help out a lot. All right. Running out of GoPro life. We got Dr. Brian with the uh, red, white, and blue Grand Sport pulled up. It's a big meeting here at the uh, at the air pump. He's an awesome guy as well. But those guys were from uh, New York, and I just thought they were like local guys, you know. And I was like, hey, and, and not that I wouldn't have done it anyway. I was going to give him the wheel regardless. But like, I just assumed they were local. And I was like, yeah, I'll bring you a tire, no problem. I live, you know, right up the street. I'll be right back. Turns out they're from New York. And the one guy recognized me and he's like, aren't you that YouTube guy? Again, which is why I thought they were local. Uh, but turns out they were from all the way from New York and they got a belt came loose out of their tire and that's no good. And New York's about another three hours from here. Oddly enough, here's a coincidence for you. They were at, they came down here to go to, go to the four wheel parts store in Carlisle where I just was the other day and where I got these uh, wheels and tires from. So small world, but I was happy to help those guys out and I hope they make it back okay. I'm happy to report my theory was correct. The Jeep feels a lot better now with uh, some air in the tires. It feels a lot better. It's actually like really good to drive. So I'm very happy with the wheels and tires. Like I said, it does feel a lot better even than stock. And maybe that's because I was driving, you know, the stock wheels on a lift kit, but it really feels good now. Like it feels like it, it drives like it should now. It feels a lot better. It feels a lot more stable too, which I really like. The Jeep kind of was like a little, wobbly before and now it feels it feels a lot more planted on the road the jeep is all aired up and looking great i freaking love it that is about as good as i could have ever hoped it would turn out to be and i hope that you guys enjoyed this upload again let me know what you think in the comments below if you did enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you for watching take care and have a great night